What's up guys, Joe here again with yet another unboxing from Bits Power. Um, this time around it's going to be the Universal RAM Module Water Cooling Set for 4 banks and 4 dims. Okay, now that the tape's removed and the box is open, let's keep going. Uh, first things first, let's look at the baggie. And right here it says, please make sure the contact of block are correct and double check it. You can use tool to make the contact more closely if the block has standoff design. Okay, so it's basically telling you that uh, make sure it's nice and secure. If you want to, you can use a tool included. Okay, which is uh, first off, uh, Allen wrench. Okay, and then it's going to be used for your screws. And there are countersunk screws, I'm guessing for your uh, RAM modules. And some Allen heads, I guess, to bolt the water block onto your RAM modules after you install them. And we have eight times uh, thermal pads, and these are these look like to be sized for, uh, I guess, the REM modules. And I have uh, what four sticks total, so it'll be 16 gigs. And I have Corsair modules, so they're uh, double sided. There's also some more thermal pads, and these I believe are for. Um, creating thermal conductivity between the RAM block and the RAM modules themselves. O-ring, if we were to open it up and service the, uh, the water block itself, we got an extra O-ring right here, it's good that they provide one. And of course the usual bits power sticker, which I have tons of these now, now that I bought so many bits power parts. So you've got the instructions how to do it, it tells you which screws and thermal pads are used for certain uh, installations again. All right, you can go ahead and pause as I scroll this up. Okay. And we have the RAM modules themselves. There's four each, and I'm using for all four of my 16 gig uh, Corsair RAM. I know that water cooling your RAM is overkill, especially for just 1600 megahertz, but you know what? I can do it, so yeah, that's my choice, my rig, you can't stop me. Okay, so it's nice, anodized. Alright, and uh, yeah, it's nice uh, quality, aluminum. Alright, and this part logo as usual. So we can count that as times four for that part. And now we have the water block itself. Don't mind my daughter, she's in the back singing. And it's really shiny. As you can see, you can see the camera, you can see my head right there, ceiling fan. So you can see there's two and quarter ports for an inlet and outlet, and it doesn't matter uh, which way it goes in and out, it's your choice. There's also, there's also a, a hole here for adjustability if you were to mount, you know, two or four modules. Uh, yeah, I like the finish of it. It's got a little lint here, but uh, yeah. But I'm gonna be uh, installing uh, maybe a couple modules just to show you guys how to do it. Uh, I won't be installing this yet as of right now because I'm still waiting on one more part. So yeah, let's get to installing the modules. Okay, um, as you guys can see, I've already done a practice run and went ahead and installed on one dim. This is how the end product looks. All right, and just a reminder, whenever you do this to any of your uh, RAM modules taking up the heat sinks, it will avoid your warranty. So it's all on you if you, you know, destroy all this. But uh, as far as removing your RAM module from your air heat sink, all you have to do is, uh, so let's get, handle it good, um, get a, like a blow dryer or a uh, heat gun and get it swept across the, the heat sink until it's nice and hot, not too hot, but hot enough to where uh, you can like slowly peel the adhesive off and uh, yeah, never do it without heating it up because you will rip off um, you know the modules off the PCBs so yeah, be careful with that so as you see I've already done it on uh, two of them already this one and now this one and, um, yeah, let's go ahead and install it Okay, for, uh, before you get it started, um, I just want to let you know that uh, there's no right or wrong way to install this. 
it's you know it's either way you want to do it whether it's uh, the male or I mean I'm sorry the female cap or the male cap being on one side or the other um, they will line up regardless of which uh, which way you orient it you know so one thing is uh, you really have to match <clears throat> excuse me where the uh, ram sticks actually are positioned inside so uh, the best way to do it is to put your um, put your plate on the finished product and line it up as you put it down as you lay it down you know just like that and then you always have uh, room to wiggle it before you lay the uh, top uh, top plate on that way if you install it you know you see if this block uh, was installed a little bit crooked see how the, the notches uh, get off a little bit you wouldn't want that because otherwise your holes wouldn't line up when you install your block on there okay so um, first things first uh, we're going to put some uh, thermal interface on the ram sticks but for me um, after finishing the first one I'd like to do this do it this way better which is to put it on the plate first because uh, you'll get some stuff sticking out off the PCB of the RAM. I mean, these these things are pretty stretchy, so just be ever so gentle with it, and they can tear easily. All right, so I like to do it this way, just like that. Get as straight as you can, and cover as much as you can. Okay, so like I say it's about good, and you'll have some trimmed out that you could probably trim off if you have too much. So I have to use a pair of scissors, cut it off just like that. All right, and we have some sticking on that side too. So we're gonna also cut that side off. My scissors are pretty dull right now at the moment. Okay, so I finished uh, fighting with the scissors and cutting it to this edge. Let's also do the other side. I've already installed on the mill cap side uh, the thermal pads. Okay, just cut that excess off. I mean, you know, you don't want to be cutting all this off afterwards. So it'll be pretty hard. Once you put it on there, I suggest you not take it off. And you can, but uh, it's. So you know, good early precaution that you do this first. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I put the female plate down there, and the way I did it last time. See these uh, gold contacts right here and here. You're gonna line it up to the edges of the left and right side of the mill cap. So you're gonna have to eyeball it just a little bit. All right. Looks good to me. Get it as far up as you can. And ever so gently. Okay. Lay it down there. You don't have to smash it down there because you'd ruin it. And then you take mill cap and lay it straight down. Okay, so uh try to get a right, get it nice and straight. As you can see my uh, notches match right now and I don't see any uh excess uh thermal pads sticking off the side. Screw it down. If it doesn't go on right, back it off a little bit and go back down again. Otherwise, you'd strip your screws. Okay, go, go back a bit. Okay, that's one. It's loose for now. Back it off a bit. Put it on there. And having a hard time with tools today, guys. Okay, now we got it. Okay, so I've got that tight. Got two down snug. And okay. So now, if you look at it right now, 
I mean, if I eyeball it, it looks pretty straight to me. So, and see how they're even as far as uh, final installation and go past each other. There and there's no uh, excess thermal pads sticking out. Oops. Okay. All right. One last thing to remember, guys, is that uh, before you even throw a water block on these things, uh, that you make sure they work. Meaning, put it in, make sure it boots up, and you know doesn't give any blue screens or whatnot, or you know because in the removal process of the air heat sinks over here, you could have damaged them. So. Yeah, put them in there, get it uh, up and working before you uh, face some more problems after you've installed the water block and you have to waste coolant and a lot of time. Oh yeah, that's my uh, installation, unboxing and installation actually, of uh, the Bits Power uh, Universal RAM Module Water Cooling Set for four banks and I just did half. And, uh, yeah, I'll be installing this pretty soon. Alright, thanks for watching, like and subscribe and more videos coming up.